Привет, друзья! Вы снова на канале Тактика Победы и с вами Макс. Сегодня поиграем... Да, вы правы, это не Рим 2, не Total War. Это игра Окут. В переводе, как я понял, означает гоблины. Это что-то вроде из скандинавской мифологии. Наверное, и сама игра будет посвящена... Ну так, я посмотрел немножко игру, описание ее. Будем управлять каким-то существом. Как бы то ли домовой, то ли еще что-то. Которое будет выполнять действия, то ли в помощь, то ли во вред. Так я и не понял. Разберемся по ходу игры. И просто отдохнем от баталий, сражений, интриг и войны. What do you see in this piece of stone? Yes, it is small, not much to look at, and to most, not of any particular use. Yet it is not of irrelevance to the story that I am about to share with you. You see, every 100 years or so, a strange event occurred. As the days grow short and the nights long, a night darker than others ensues. It is said that when the moon leaves the sky, as darkness envelops the land and the stars awaken, you can hear the sounds of being rarely seen. And if one lingers in the dark shadows waiting for sight to return, things that any other night would seem to be one thing, appear to be another. It was during a night like this that a small, in the scope of the world, insignificant creature with no name was born. What is this place? The insignificant creature without a name wondered as it emerged from the ground and began to explore the dark world. Напоминает что-то вроде мыши. Волосатый какой-то. Или Альфа. Кто смотрел фильм Альф. Только без рук, с ножками. Интересно. Большая-большая ночь. Пустой ящик. А это дневник, походу. Так, как тебя закрыть? Ага. Так, мышкой обычное управление, вот он ходит, куча камней, это мы отсюда вылезли, наверное. Так, руны, что ли. Ух ты, камешки насыпались. Это, наверное... Это я нажал? Ну-ка. Точно. <смех> Прикольненько. А это что? Руна огня, что ли? И нету света. А это, наверное, что-то вроде руны ветра, наверное. Больше что. Ладно. <смех> Интересно. И чего? Взять можно? А, вот так вот. Зажать надо. 
On the ground, there was a wooden bowl filled with what used to be flowers of vibrant colors, most likely gathered and forgotten long ago. <laughs> the small creature looked at the old forgotten plants. I wonder if they ever got the chance to be appreciated for their beauty. <laughs> The small creature carefully picked up the bowl along with the dried flowers. Hmm, no, no, that's not how it happened. No, ладно. What was I doing below those stones? The creature wondered, standing next to the hole it just crawled out of. Тут походу чей-то могильник был, и это существо родилось из этого могильника. In the middle of the clearing, there was a mound of stones that seemed to have concealed something. Stuck between the stones were two branches tied together to form a cross. What a beautiful place! The small, insignificant creature thought to itself, admiring the reflected glow of the stars. There was a small spring in the clearing, reflecting the night sky. In the middle of the spring, you could see the reflection of a large star. Something about this star seemed different from the others around it. Пойдем сперва налево, как всегда. Так, что-то написали. Загадочный валун. A large stone could often be found at the center of Alf circles. How they got there, no one seemed to know. In some of the stones there were holes, said to be surrounded by strange symbols. These holes could be used to summon and gain boons from Alvor by presenting them with a gift. On the other hand, if the offering was not to their liking, the boon would instead turn into misfortune. <laughs> Is there really someone strong enough to move a stone like this? The creature looked at the large stone, its eyes filled with fear and admiration alike. Reaching into the hole, the small creature felt something flat, round and hard. As it removed the object from the hole, it saw that it was an old coin. Так, нам монетку дали. The small creature thought about taking one of the mushrooms, but they didn't look all that tasty. I wonder why this one is larger than the other one. The small creature said to itself while pondering the reason for its size. It is believed that circles of mushrooms spring up when Alv appear to join one another in dance. If an unlucky man or woman should join them in their dance, they would find that time passes faster within the Alv circle, and years may go by while they are engrossed in a few moments of joyful dance. <laughs> In the circle laid a pile of bones. The creature searched the ground for anything useful. Amongst the shattered bones, one piece seemed to be sharper than the others. Hmm, 
No, no, that's not how it happened. Ну, не делается, так не надо. Так, что тут можно еще сделать? Зернотерка. The small creature barely managed to pick up the heavy grinding stone. Hmm. No, no, that's not ha Ну ладно. Посмотрим дальше. The small creature thought about taking one of the mush. Ну понятно. Так, а если я дождичек? О, чего-то засветился. Ух ты! Suddenly, as the small creature stood silently next to the large stone. Beautiful glowing beings joined in dance appeared out of the darkness. The creature beheld them in awe before they, just as quickly as they appeared, vanished into thin air, seemingly unaware of the small creature who so longed to reach out to them. Игра походу сделан так. Просто отдыхать. Интересно. Что будет дальше и все. The field looked to have been sown quite a while ago, yet nothing had begun to grow. The dry soil crumbled as the small creature tried to pick it up. В руках у него помрук-то и нету. На сухой почве. The small creature tried to remove the piece of cloth, but was unable to. A dirty piece of cloth had been sewn into the scarecrow's head, covering a tear in the burlap. Oh, what the? As the small creature used a sharp piece of bone to cut the stitches that held the cloth in place, the scarecrow sprung to life, quietly watching its visitor. Oh, well. <laughs> Touching the scarecrow, the creature could feel the dry hay prickling it through the burlap. Hello. The small creature uttered nervously, but the scarecrow remained silent. In the middle of the field, there stood a rugged scarecrow, seemingly looking up into the starlit sky. Да, пугало сделано неудачно. Так, и что мы тут получили? Сена. No. No, that's not how it happened. Ну ладно. Hmm. No. Ладно, хорошо. Говорят сухое поле, ну давайте так. А сейчас что-нибудь изменится? As the small creature tried to pick it up, the now moist soil fell through its fingers. Hmm. 
Hmm. No. No, that's not how it happened. Hmm. No. No, that's not know. how it happened. Может еще что-нибудь нажать? О, нормально. Это камень земли. Ух ты, свет загорелся. Ну-ка, давай свет. Пусть горит. О, ветер закрутилась. <смех> Интересно сделано. The small creature managed to pick up a handful of oats off the stalks. There were no more oats to pick. Mm, больше овса не было. No, no, that's not how it happened. О, получилось. Получилось. Хорошо. Чего дальше? К сараю. Подвал. Ну, пойдем в подпол. <смех> так, что тут? Сломанный ящик. Чайник. Что скажет про чайник? This looks useful, the small creature said to itself. I wonder if I could take it. Возьмем. The small creature tried to brush some of the dirt off as it picked up the old kettle. Так, сломанный ящик я уже заглядывал. The small creature picked up the sewing needle with care, making sure not to hurt itself. Домовой? Ага, точно домовой. The hustump did not seem to want the small creature to move any closer. In the far corner of the dark room sat an old hustumt, stroking his long grey beard. These household deities guard the farmers' homes, keeping any unpleasant beings at bay while watching over the daily chores involved in running the household. Как-то домовой, по идее, чисто должно быть, а тут какой-то бардак. As the creature approached the corner of the room, a grumpy voice emanated from the darkness. Who are you to enter my home when invited? If you came to steal, know that a meager creature like you would be no match for me. In the dark corner sat an old hustumt, staring at the creature. Please forgive me, the small creature responded anxiously. I didn't mean to disturb you. I was simply curious about this place. I'm lost, you see. The hustunt looked at the creature for quite a while before breaking the silence. Well, you certainly don't look capable enough to be the thieving kind, he muttered to himself. But if I find that you conspired with him to steal my hat, you will be sorry you revealed yourself Shop. to me. Мы тут иглу унесли, и чайник. Хорошо, 
Most of these items have been gathering dust down here for as long as I can remember. But don't bring me anything fancy. I don't like brown nosing. Anything that will take care of my growling stomach will do. Так, пожрать. <смех> Мышь. <смех> Свет замерцал. Так, ты будешь жрать вот это вот. Так, ну ладно, пойдем дальше. The small creature watched as elusive particles of dust effortlessly evaded its attempts to grab them. I wonder what it's like up there. The small creature thought, mesmerized by the bright light. Такое наивное. The small creature, although curious, decided not to approach the farmer's house in fear of being seen. No, I don't. As the small creature touched it, the top part of the shaft easily came off. <laughs> the tools were too heavy for the small creature to carry. The moist firewood was of no use to the small creature. Hey! An angry voice emanated from the shed as the creature was about to pick up the piece of cloth laying on the ground. I found that. If you want it, you'll just have to bring me something else that I can use. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No. No. Monetko, mm. Hmm. Hmm, no. Would this be enough to replace the cloth? The small creature asked as it presented the hay to the guard stomped. Hey, well I suppose I could use that instead. I only found this piece of cloth the other night while keeping an eye on the field, but it's already becoming too dirty to wipe my feet on. The guard stomped responded as he handed the dirty piece of cloth to the small creature. Maybe you can find some other use for it. Ну спасибо. Нам дали тряпочку. Ух ты, объединилась. Ну да ладно. Ага. Это что, шапка что ли? Жесть. Грязная, вонючая шапка достанется домовому. 
Так, а можно чайник сюда повесить? Нет, ладно. The cartwheels were buried too deep for a small creature to pull. from the coals had almost faded when something seemed to reignite them. The small creature watched the coals for a while, spellbound by their calming glow. <laughs> no matter how hard it tried, the small creature couldn't reach any of the stars. <laughs> there are so many of them, the small creature thought while gazing up into the sky. I wonder how such small things can shine so brightly. По сути, игра, где комментарии излишни. Тупо ходишь, тупо нажимаешь. Куча камней. Ну пойдем куча камней. М -м Пустой чайник. Проверим. Можно тут что-нибудь воды мне набрать. Теперь это чайник можно вскипятить. Вот дрова тут зачем? Непонятно. Во. The small creature hung the water-filled kettle above the fireplace. Где-то тут огонь был. И чё, все? Hmm. No, no, that's not how it happened. Hmm. not how it happened. Hmm. No. Hmm. Hmm. Чай не делается. <laughs> Че еще можно понажимать? The warmth emanating from the coals had almost А, 
The small creature carefully removed the hot kettle from the fireplace. Овсянка. У нас получилась овсянка. Что на завтрак, Берриумор? Овсянка, сыр. Пойдем накормим нашего домового и отдадим ему шапку. You sure didn't hurry now, did you? The Hustumped muttered. Were you planning on letting me wait all night after I let you take my belongings? The small creature looked meekly at the floor. Well, no matter. This will stave off the hunger. The Hustumped brought a spoon out from under his thick beard and began to eat. Since you've already helped yourself to some of my objects, I hardly think a reward should be necessary. The small creature hung its head as the hustumped put another spoonful into his mouth. Fine. Here. I borrowed this from the wretched one. I have no use for it, so you might as well take it. Now go away. As the hustumped filled the spoon once more, a long strand of thick silver hair came off and landed on the ground in front of the small creature, who saw no harm in picking it up. Hmm. No. Nah, shop. <laughs> he had it, didn't he? That wretched thief. The hustumped put the hat on his head and made a sigh of relief. There, that's how things should be. Грязная вонючая шапка, в которой утирали ноги. The small creature. I suppose you want something for this, even though you've already taken my things. The hustumped said grumpily as the small creature's eyes seemed to grow a little bigger. Here, I found this hammerhead while I was looking for my hat. It's missing its shaft, so I don't know what use you would have for it. But the difficulty of a task should determine the reward, don't you agree? Посмотрим. Oh, no, 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 that's not how it happened. А если точило? Hmm. No. Hmm. 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 No. Hmm. 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 Хочет одеваться. Сухие цветы. Не объединяется. Надо, значит, еще что-то найти. The Hustum did not seem. Now leave me and let me eat in peace. No, I don't. The creature searched the box once more. Понятно. Пусть лучше горит свет. Хм. 
The creature suddenly realized it had yet to introduce itself. Hmm. No, no, that's not a... Hello? The small... The guard stomped looked at the creature. I'm the one who looks after this place. No simple task, mind you. The master of the farm hasn't been tending to the land enough this season, so I have to make up for his stupidity by working myself to the bone. You're a small one, aren't you? I haven't seen something like you before. The small creature looked at the guard stomped. I'm not sure. I remember waking up beneath a stone mound, and as I crawled out, the first thing I saw was the... I see. Beneath the old stone mound, the guard stomped appeared to remember something, becoming quiet for a moment before continuing. No, I'm afraid I don't know why you were born into this place, little one. Nor do I think there is truly a... The small creature hung its head for a... Don't fret, little one. You'll find your place in this world, I'm sure. Так, с трудом. Ну давай я ему наточим. Может наточиться. Is that what I think it is? The guard stomped exclaimed as the small creature approached him. Is that my whetstone? Where did you find it? I don't even remember the last time I saw it. The guards. Thank you for finding it for me, little one. My old worn down tools have been the only thing standing in the way of me bringing. I'm afraid I can't find much of a reward for you. This old hammer shaft is of good quality, but I seem to have misplaced the metal head. I can't understand how I managed to lose these things. The guards. Perhaps you can find a use for it, little one. I'm sorry, I can't. Ну вот нам дали наконец-то рукоятку от молотка. Оп, молоток. Что можно сделать? Так, так. Удочка. Трава зачем непонятно только. Так, удочка, у нас там, там же у нас где-то речка. Может, рыбку поймаем? Using the fishing rod it just made, the small creature was able to reach the large glowing star in the middle of the spring. As the star's glow broke the surface of the water, As the small creature put the golden bracelet into the hole, a larger alva appeared sitting on the stone. This alva was more beautiful than anything the creature could have imagined, with white glowing hair flowing over the rough surface of the stone, and a shining silver crown on her head. Hmm. 
The small creature's humbled words broke the silence. Hello. I don't want to disturb you, beautiful queen, but if you would allow me but a few moments of watching your people dance, I would be most content. I don't know where else to go, as I don't know where I belong in this world. The Alf Queen remained silent, yet seemingly not displeased by the presence of the small creature. As the dance continued, the creature watched the glowing beings in silence, entranced by their beauty. Suddenly, in a chanting voice soft as a whisper, the Alf Queen spoke. Her words were not of this world, and even though the creature could not understand them, it felt their power within its small body. As the Alv Queen started to fade along with her dancing Alvor, the smaller circle of mushrooms began to glow, as if responding to her enchanting voice. Ну что ж, друзья, о приключении нашего существа и следующую главу вы увидите в следующей серии. Спасибо за внимание.